Hello, welcome to another edition of Capra Comparison Picks. My name is Ranj, and today I'll be doing the picks for the Belarus Premier League match day 8 of 10. All four, um, I'm an idiot, all four of the Sunday games for Sunday, May 10th, Mother's Day. That's why I'm doing these tonight, so that I don't have to deal with them tomorrow. And they happen tomorrow relatively early. So I'm just going to, I want to get through this as fast as I can so I can, I'm tired. I was, a lot of things happened today. A lot of sports. But anyway, at 7 o'clock tomorrow morning, I know I won't be up. Eh, it might be, who knows. We have uh, Ishlak hosting Belshina Bobrusk. Um, Ishlak comes in season at rank number six with a record of four wins, zero draws, three losses. Belshina is at the bottom of the barrel at number 16. They have yet to win, zero wins, two draws, five losses. Um, the last five matches, Ishlak is... Two wins, zero draws, three losses. They're the big expected, big favorite at minus 184. Now you can have them cover a point and it'll make it a plus number, plus 107 if you think they can cover a point over Belshina. Belshina, I don't know why I didn't write it down, but uh, Belshina's the huge underdog at plus 492. Now you can safeguard by a point and it'll bring it, it brings it down though to a minus 127. Uh, the, these are, odds are pretty, these lines are pretty fresh. I just printed them out. That's why I printed them out, I don't know, 20 minutes ago. So <clears throat> the draw is set at 302. Okay. Um, total set at two and a half. If you go, if you think it's going to go over, you get paid even money plus 100. Under minus 120, you got to pay a little juice. So, here anyway, the last match Ishlak had was a loss at Shaktor Sologorsk. And that was four to zero. Big loss, big loss for the wolf pack, or the wolves, whatever you're gonna call them. Um, Belshina, they had a loss. Their last match was a loss versus Dynamo Breast. And that was zero to three. Okay, head to head matches. Okay. Okay, chronologically, we got, uh, oh boy, yuck. Five, all right, May of 2016. It's like two to three. Um, then uh, September 2016. I don't even know why I'm even putting these down. Zero to zero clean sheet. Because Belshino was, uh, they, they were in the, Reserve League or League Two, whatever you want to call it. They just got promoted last year, so. As well as Small VG. Can't wait till they play each other to find out who's the worst. Because they're both horrible. Um, find the most recent game these guys had head to head was July 2017. And where Ishlak won one, two, four. Okay, so there you have the last three head-to-head -head matches. Now the players, let's go. Um, for Ishlak, we have uh, two of them that were in that top 15 scores of the league. Dmitry Komarovsky, Komarovsky. Oh, why did these names have to be so damn long? Komarovsky or Ski, three goals. He is number 15. 
keep an eye out for him. And Momo Yansane. He is uh, he's got three goals also. What number is he? 99. Okay, they do have three national team players and seven foreign. Okay. The talent over for Belshina. Just one guy. Yeah, he's been up here every time. Leonid Koval. Three scores. Number 18. I, last time I shot my mouth off and said he was going to score, he, they got, they're, oh man, they're poor. They lost 0-3. Nobody scored from Belshina. Um, they don't have, they have zero national team players and eight foreign players. So, let's take a look at this, uh, the over. It's at, set at two and a half. Okay, we have an over and over, a way over, and over, and under. But remember these games are four years ago, three years ago. But the last two that they both lost, huh, they're both coming off losses that both went over. You know what, I'm taking the over, depth plus 100. Maybe Covell will score tomorrow. Uh, Ilock has enough power, they can, they can score. And Ilock's gonna win. Put it in different colors so you can so it sticks out a little bit. Uh, they're gonna. I'm gonna have them covering that goal too. So I'm gonna take. I'm gonna take Ilock to cover a goal, and it's gonna go over. Like I said, so there's that. And I just messed up this marker because I got black ink into the orange. I'm an idiot. I could always... There you got to just wipe it. It's got to get it off. Get the black off. And it's orange underneath. All right, moving on. That's seven o'clock game, nine o'clock game. <sighs> we have Vitebsky, their number eleven, taking on Shakhtar. So Gors, I don't know. I write that because that's how Bet Online writes it, but they're uh, they're kind of idiots too. I don't know. That's phonetically, I think, but I've seen it spelled without the Y and an E, or without the Y and an A, Shakhtar. Shakhtar, Shakhtyor. So I'm doing phonetically. Shakhtyor Sologorsk. They're number seven currently. And uh, let's go. Vitevsky on the season has a record of three wins, one draw, three losses. They are the huge at home underdog at plus 449. Um, last five, they've been there two, one, and two. That plus 449, if you want to get a little insurance, you want to cover, I mean, you want to, you want to buy a goal, you can get a goal, plus one goal. I'm going to drop it down. The payoff is now minus 103. Okay. Now, Shaktor, Solgorsk, they're the favorite at minus 150. Um... If you got them covering a goal, it drops it down to respectably minus 117, so you can ease up on that juice. Draw set at plus 258. Now, before there, I had that rule. Oh, put money on the draw, put money on the draw. Um, up there at plus 306, put money on the draw because Belshina likes to draw. But they can't win. So they'll draw. They won't even, you know what? Stonian waste the dust on the draw. Not for that game. Do not 
waste the dust on it. I won't. I'm not going to put no, anything on the draw. I think Adelaide's going to win and cover. Here, same. No, this one, you do dust the draw at plus 258 because they're both more equal teams. All right. Um, the last match for Vitebsk was a loss versus Slavia Mozir. And that was a two to three loss at home. Oi, oi, oi. For Shakhtar, it was a win. I lost money on this because of their stupid refs, I think. Or I don't know. I'm just, that's, that could be just bullshit. But it was a win at Iloc at the Wolves. As mentioned up there, four to zero. Okay. Um, okay, head to head. All right. Oh, I, I see what happened here. Back in May of last year, May 12th of last year, Shakhtar won one to zero. Then they had a cup game. I don't know if it's a Super Cup or the Belarus Cup or whatever, but that was on May 26th last year, and uh, Vitebsky won 0-2. to two. They beat him in Shakhtar. That, must, that ref must, must have not played that, or heard the work that day. Then, uh, September 21st, Vitebsk won 4-0 to zero at home. That's, that's, a, that's a good thing. I mean, we'll see. You'll see. Um, let's look at their talent. Over for Vitebsk, they got this, the guy, Ion Nicolescu. He's been up here before. Ion Nicolescu, Nicolescu, oy. he is number three, or I'm sorry, he is three scores. He is number 98. Other talent on the team, they have one national team player. It's not I on this philosophy, but I think he's a foreigner. And eight foreign players. Okay. Shakhtar. They have uh their their guy in their top in the top 15 scores of the league. They have came out of nowhere. Vitali Lisakovich. And Lisakovich has three scores. He's number nine. Keep an eye out for him. Oh, sorry. Where was that? I didn't write down the foreign. I know they got mad national team foreign team players too. Just give me a second. I'll pull their file. Shakhtar Zolagorsk. They have nine foreign and nine national team players. I told you, nine national, nine Nats and nine foreign players. Okay. Oh, boy, am I tired. Um, anyway, this match, yeah, go ahead and dust that draw. What I'm gonna do here I am going to, Shakhtar is not playing at home. I mean, they're good, but I'm taking, look at, Vitebsk, back in September, I know it's it a few months ago, but they they beat them handedly, four to zero at home. And Vitebsk is playing at home. I'm taking Vitebsk, but this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna put a unit to, for, I'm gonna buy a point and I'm gonna sprinkle dust on the money line also. So it's like a double play. Cut the full unit, I'm gonna put, I'm gonna buy the point. It's minus 103, little tiny juice. But I'm gonna, I'm gonna sprinkle, I'm definitely sprinkling dust on that plus 449, and I hope Vitesse. Hope they beat the pants off Soligorsk. Um, as for the total, let's see what we got. We got an over, a over, a over, an under, 
and a under. Two unders, three overs. The last matches for both teams went over. So I'm going to go with the over. There you have that. Let's move on. We got uh, 11 o'clock. Small VTSTI. Number 15. Um, taking on huh, bait number four. Here's another another one of those games that don't bother dust in the draw because if you're just throwing money away, it's not gonna draw. It's definitely not gonna draw. Okay? I mean, there's nothing that's definite, but I don't believe it'll draw. Matter of fact, I said during a Korean game, like because the Korean league just started this weekend. And I said, I'm not sure about the how this league works yet. So I'm not, I'm going to dust the draw just as a rule. But uh, out of the four, uh, four games that happened, only one of them drew. So I'm like looking at it, I'm like, oh, these other three other games, is that dust, it adds up. That's money I just threw away. So now I'm being, I don't dust them all. I, I'm more cautious now, I think, a little bit harder. Before, I was just like, oh, I hedge my bet, dust the draw, dust the draw, dust the draw. Just like Ricketts, John from Ricketts picks, tell me dust the draw, always dust the draw, dust the draw, whatever. And that was my golden rule for Nicaragua, Belarus, Nicaragua. I still will dust all that, all that draw. But uh, here, I'm starting to, uh, I'm starting to look at it differently. This one, Man, I don't know. I, you could go with the thing about small Vici. Don't they don't like to? I mean, they can't win, but they do. Uh, we'll get to that. We'll get there. Right now, I am not dusting this draw. Okay. Small Vici, number fifteen. <laughs> their record is zero wins, three draws, four losses. They're a huge underdog at home. At a plus 11.25. Yeah, that's right. You heard me. Plus 1.125. <laughs> uh, Bait, of course, is huge favorite. Minus 3.73. That's disgusting. Who would ever pay that? But if you think you can, they can cover a goal and a half, it'll drop down to a sensible minus 108. But if you, you know, that means you're going to win by two. You think they can do that? Um, you can, For small Vici, on the other hand, you can uh, secure, if you're a small Vici fan, you want to secure some money, you can buy the goal and a half. It'll drop that huge 11.25 down to minus 112. Goal and a half, though, that's, that's a lot you're buying. I mean, you're getting, it's worth it. You know, we'll see. Last match was a loss. Of course it was a loss. <laughs> At Energetic BGU. Because cause they're horrible, that's why. Um, two to zero. Last match for bait. Last four, five for bait. They're, they're four wins, one draw, zero losses in their last five. They're beasts. Was a win versus Neiman, and I went on the went on the limb and took Neiman in that. I can't stand Neiman Grodno now. Oh, can't stand him. But I took Neiman in that and got screwed. Of course, every time I go, I'm not. You know what? From now on, I, I will for the show for the purpose of the show. I will still pick a side when Neiman's playing, but I'm not putting money on. Or against that damn team. They're, I'm cursed with them. I don't know. Mike Nemechek said we did win way back in the earlier in the season. Of it was like a plus three hundred something number too. But I don't know. I just ugh. today they lost. I took them today and they lost two to four to I forget to who. But oh yeah, it's right there. Rubrest. They lost a Rubrest. Two to four. Root Press scored in the first. 
It's like 10 minutes of a match and they scored. Unbelievable. Unreal. Get out of town with that bullshit. Where was I? Head to head matches. Because uh, Smolvici is another promotion team, um, their match, uh, they only have two. I only find two head to head matches in Soccer Way and, or Sofa Score. I can only find two head to head matches. And they were both won by bait, of course. One was uh, April of 2018. Bait won 1 2 0. That was a close one, actually. Then the most recent was July 14th of last year. And this one was a high scorers, but they still won two to three. Okay. Um, Smovici, their player, <laughs> player to watch out for. Ooh, Evgeny Barsakov. He's been up here before. How, how lame is this that at least Koval for Belshina's got three scores. Barsakov is their highest scorer with one goal. I think there's another guy on their team with one. You know, they, they, they've had draw. Well, that could have been a lot of zero zeros too. But anyway, Barsakov is tied with their leading. Their leading scorer has one goal. Ugh, embarrassing almost. I think if Smovici was to play Belshina today, I think Belshina would beat him. But we're not going there right now. Um, any other talent on the team? Not really. <laughs> Zero national team players. They have five foreigners, but so do the reserve teams. I mean, come on, really? As for bait, oh boy. Their player to look out for, you you guys, he, he's been up here. Stanislav Drahun or Dragoon. He has got three goals on the season. He's number eight. Also, both of them are number eight. So if you're watching this game, what time is this game, I say? 11 o'clock tomorrow morning. If you're watching this game, keep an eye out for number eight on either team. This one will score. Probably, he probably won't. Matter of fact, player prop alert, or I don't know, it's a, that's a new thing, but I've been, I've been nailing player prop bet. I mean, I can't bet them on my site, but I've been nailing the picks. I've been, and I, I think Stanislav's gonna drop Dragoon. He's gonna score tomorrow against Smolvici. Ugh. Smovici. Sorry. I'm sorry if you're a Smovici fan, fan. I just I can't help but talk shit about them. Um, they and the bait, the other talent on their team, oh yeah, they got plenty of them. 11 national team players, 8 foreign players. So that explains pretty much look at 11, 25, you're like, holy shit, how can you, how can you have that big of a Number. Well, that's why. This why. It's because small beach is horrible. Bait's great. That's why. I'm taking bait. It's a it's a no brainer. I'm not paying that ridiculous juice though. So I guess I, I will. I'll I'll do the. I'll do the. Brad, I got him covering a goal and a half, which I think they should be able to do. I am not dusting that draw. It's not going to draw. Bait, bait's going to win. By, out. You know, when I do the recap, I'll throw up scores. But uh, as for the over under, it's set at two and a half. Let's see. We got a under, over, over, under. Well, oh, that's they only had. Hmm. Oh yeah, I can only find two games. That's right. For that, for Bait Smolvici. So I'm I'm leaving the. You know what? Two and a half. It's gonna go over. Because Bait's gonna score two by themselves. Smolvici may. They might score one. Bait probably score three. 
but anyway, there you have that. Moving on, last match of Sunday, of Mother's Day. Um, Dynamo Breasts versus Dynamo Mints. So we got the Blue White Will, or I'm sorry, Blue White Devils going against, let me figure it out. There's one of them is Blue White Will, one of them is Blue White Devils. Um, Dynamo Breasts are the Blue White Devils. The Blue White Devils going against Blue White Will. They're friends, they're all buddies, they're all right wing political stands, ultra fans, the ultras. They're called Blue White Dev Devils, Blue White Will. Anyway, Dynamo Breast is number 10 on the season with a record of three wins, one draw, three losses. Dynamo Misk is number 13 on the season. Three wins, zero draws, four losses. Um, in this particular game, Dynamo Breast is the home favorite at a plus 121. Dynamo Minsk, underdog, plus 222. The draw is at plus 239. Um, yeah, last five, Dynamo Breasts are two wins, zero draws, three losses. Last five for Dynamo Minsk is three wins, zero draws, two losses. Okay. The last match for Dynamo Breast was a win at, don't brag about it, Belshina. You know, it's nothing, you can't, you can't brag about it because our horse, you know, go back to the reserve league. I'm just being, I'm a dick sometimes when I get tired. Um, Dynamo Minsk, their last match was a loss. For Slutsk. I think they lost handedly too. No, not bad. One to two. Wasn't that bad of a loss. Okay. Um, head to head. Let's do this chronologically. Back in October of 2018, they had a draw, one to one draw. Then um, July of last year, July 14th, they Dynamo Minsk won one to two. And most recently, December 1st, Dynamo Breast won one to three. Um, players. Only one for Dynamo Breast in the top 10 or top 15, Gabby Kiki. He's been up here. He's at the lower end of the 15 also because he's only got two scores. And he is number, you know what? He might not even be in the top 15. I'll check it out really quick. Um, Oh yeah, he is actually. Down on breast? No, he's not. He's not. Gabby Kiki's not even in the top 15 because you. Dynamo Minsk has two, though. Dynamo Minsk has two players there. Um, Evgeny Chikavka. He jumped up in goals. He's up at, uh, toward the top with four on the season. He's number nine. And they also have Ivan Bakar. He's been up here on this board before. Ivan Bakar, he's at the bottom of that top 15 because he's got two. He's number seven. As for... Oh, shit, I didn't do the national team members. Forgive me, I, I knew I was going to forget some stuff. I'm tired, exhausted. 
Dynamo Mints or Dynamo Breast has 11. That's 11 national team players. Or, you know, that. And uh, seven foreign. Dynamo Minsk, they have um, six national team players and eight foreign. All right, this is the easiest game. Of on the board to pick, I'm taking Dynamo Breast on the money line with the plus 121. Plus 121 on the money line. They're at home. They're better than Dynamo Minsk. The, the Blue White Devils are better than the Blue White Will. Um, this one, I'm not going to dust that draw because Dynamo Minsk hasn't drawn, hasn't tied yet this season. Dynamo Bresk has only tied once. So that's why I'm not wasting my money on that draw. As for the over-under, it's set at two and a half. What do we got? We got an over, 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 over. And uh, one under. So four of them going over. It's going over. Okay. Let's uh, recap. Time check. Finally. All right. I've got. Um, <clears throat> I lock. Covering a goal over. Belshina Bobrusk. I think this is going to go over the two and a half. Then at nine o'clock, I have Vitebsky. Vitebsk. To, uh, winning at home. I'm going to buy the goal at minus 103. So plus one, minus, one, minus 103. And I'm going to put a half a unit on the money line. So I can, because that's a plus 449. And I don't think Shock Tour Solagorsk is as good as on the road as they are at home because they don't have that ref in their pocket. Okay, that's also going to go over two and a half. Um, then at 11 o'clock, right before lunch, you can watch this game during lunch. <laughs> or you have a late lunch and watch this one. But uh, I got bait. They're going to stomp the shit out of Smolvici. Let's kick the shit right out of them. They're going to win by over two goals. Oh, I said I was going to do... Okay. I'll do this quick. Uh, this is going to end up being... Um, three to one. Three to one. Okay. This one is going to be, oh, this is going to be a high scoring debacle. This is going to be up there. Watch this. This is going to be, I'm going to hate this game too. Three to two. Okay. Small, I have a uh, bait beating the crap out of small Vici. They're gonna win zero to four. And finally, I've got Dynamo Breast beating Dynamo Minsk. This one, every game is going over the two and a half because I said, <laughs> and uh. This one, I don't know where I'm gonna write it. I write it here, I guess. Um, yeah, this one's gonna be a little bit tighter, but they're gonna win two to one. Okay, so there you have it. 
gather your info, place your bets, cash those tickets. Thanks for watching. I'm, uh, if you haven't yet, please hit subscribe. Hit the thumbs up because this was murder to do this show this late at night, all four boards. It sucks. Um, hit that bell because I'm going to be doing this. We got Korean. I'm, you know, I'm doing these things all the time. So just hit the bell so you can get these as soon as they come out. And uh, yeah, hit that thumbs up. Thanks for watching. Good luck on these bets. I will see you next episode. Mm-hmm. <laughs>